Right, so here we've got a little part exchange, Discovery TB5 automatic, 52 plate, 142 and a half thousand miles. I think it's got three owners. Actually, I need to double check that. Could be another car. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, it is what it is. We haven't prepared it at all. Uh, it's a cheap car. Uh, the last owner uh, had history, has lost the book. Usual story. Um, but yeah, let's go around it just so you can see the car. This is a bit worn, but it drives amazingly. Um, it's not the tidiest thing body work wise. Um, but then again, I'm comparing it to the stuff that we normally deal in, which is uh, much newer, much lower miles. So let's go in, have a look around. Now being red paint, you see the lacquer starts to peel in certain areas. As you can see up there. Um, front bumper's a bit bubbly there. Let's walk nice and slowly so you can see. Uh, lacquer's going on this bit of the bumper here. Wheel arches are a bit discoloured. Wheels are good, tyres are good. Bit of staining on the wheels, but nothing too bad. Side steps look like they've got a bit of corrosion underneath. In fact, the side of the vehicle looks looks good. You know, there's not too much. You know, the bit of uh, and sadly a bit of scratching where the roof rack goes. But uh, you know, look, looks looks all right. Um, it has had a little bit of welding on the last MOT. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, tow bar there. It's a seven seater this one. The seats are actually off at the moment um, and you can see some interior trim there that comes off this door panel here which was made into a sort of picnic type thing. I uh, don't know why. Um, so a few scratches on the back there and the welding was down in there can you see that the lower sorry rear chassis was done by a marine welder so the welding is absolutely amazing uh roof's got a few little scratches on it there roof rack's all right got a few bubbles of rust um this wheel arch doesn't look great the, the, when i say wheel arch i mean there's plastic trim but it's you know it's nothing too bad and a bit of a scrape down there Let's take you inside um, and show you the interior. So cloth seats, automatic gearbox, electric windows, the stereo there, it's got climate control, AC doesn't work, probably just needs gassing. Um, various switches and buttons here, the motorway and rear windscreen wipers and fuel thing, they all work, mirrors all work. Um, if I can pan up, you've got two manual sunroofs it's, it's a nice place to be it's td5 it's attached to an auto box so it doesn't feel quite as punchy as some of the, t the defender td5s but goes beautifully goes really well starts on the button not too smoky um look it's not immaculate but it's a, it's a bloody good buy it'd be a nice cheap car um and i think it will go on for for many many more miles oh one thing i should point out it's got these funny reflectors stuck onto the rear wheel arches which is a shame um there you go in there arches wheel arches all good there you go okay so uh it is what it is um it's a very very uh nice td5 but we haven't prepped it we're not spending hundreds of thousands of pounds on it uh painting it or doing anything it's going to be a part exchange vehicle um and it's going to be priced accordingly so come grab a bargain it's good fun a nice little project for someone but it'll you know it'll go on for many many years if you need so cheers thanks bye bye